Fat Bee Man here, back in the Bee Lab. We have one of our commercial students, Mike Martin, all the way from Kansas City. Kansas. How about that? Come all the way this this to come to learn how right. to do. Hold on, hold on. Let's, we gotta restart it. I'm oh. from Wichita. He's from Wichita. Fat Bee Man can't remember nothing. But I want you to notice the Bee Lab. You notice it's more organized? This man's totally organized. We're gonna show you how to put wax in these mini nukes a different way. All right, we got a, a mini nuke right here, which is a mini size, and these are the mini size frames. Mike's gonna cut some wax. I'm gonna show you how to put them in with a paintbrush. The easiest way to put them in. All right, so we got this precision straight edge here. We got our wax foundation that's uh, pesticide free that Don made with his press. We're just gonna put the straight edge down and use our utility knife. Just cut a little starter strip, maybe inch and a half or so. It doesn't, that's not done have to be precise. And and if you notice, it's not gonna. That's not gonna go the full width of the frame here. Um, so and that's it's not necessary that it does. That'll be just fine. So that'll be enough to get them started. So um, the way that uh, that I I put foundation in before is uh, the baster method, and I learned that from from Fat B Man from Don. But uh, what Don just showed me that I'm excited about today is a whole new technique um, that we'll show you. We point them. out these are homemade frames, and all we did was we took the saw and we made a curve for down the center of the top bar. The whole frame is all made out of scrap, and this is the easiest way to, to wax up your frames. Mm. Wax got a little hot there. So you get your uh, get your frame. You set the uh, the foundation in there. Set it right in, and then we got our brush in here. A little, just a little chip brush. It's nothing fancy. And what we're gonna do is kind of hold this over and put it right there, and just kind of brush right along, and put a uh, just a nice coat of wax in there, just right in the in the groove. We might need another little coat. I'm gonna go on the other side. Just come out. Just give it a little lay it in there, and just run it along. And don't worry if a couple drips come down here, no big deal. Just don't touch it, obviously, it's hot wax. But I'm going to go back and, and just put a little bit more on the first side. Run it down there. So this is just so easy. It's just such an elegant way to, to put it on. You can see this looks really great. And uh, All right, now turn it over and shake secure. it. Very secure. Super, it's super, super secure. It's I not going to come out. The wax is not even hardened yet, and it's just, it's just super secure. So do another one here. This is, this is just so effortless. It's just a great way to do it. Now one alternative to this is we brought some foundation down here that was partially drawed out. And Mike will show you that there. Which doesn't really make a difference. The bees will still draw it out, but it helps when it's a little drawed out. Show them the one that's draw it out there. Yeah, this that is, was partially this, drawn this, out. This is fun and Don showed me a great technique. So we it had been part drawn out a little bit so it looked great, looked beautiful for us. That's a you know super deluxe starter strip. Um, but uh, but you know hard to get it in the slot. So I, I was fixing to uh, just wax it on there, just you know edge on. But Don showed me that uh, what you can do is just uh, take yourself a little piece of uh, of wood and like a little frame, you know, try to get it too waxy. If it's too waxy, you just scrape it off. Um, and then you get it wet. You know, you wet that edge and so that it doesn't stick. What you do is you lay that piece of foundation down there and I'll pretend that, that this is the, the foundation that's partially drawn out. And then, and then you get your wood on there and just press, put it in there, press down and you're just gonna flatten that edge. And it's not gonna stick because you wet it. You wet it there. So you're gonna set it down, press it, kind of push it down, do this number a little bit, rock it, get it off, and then you've got, you know, that little quarter inch of flattened wax that you can, uh, that'll let you just put it right into the frame. So it worked out great, got these, they're, they're beautiful, they look real pleasing, and I'm sure the bees will appreciate that, uh, that quick start. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is just such a great technique, and uh, waxing in, once you're waxing in your foundation, it's just so much quicker and easier than, uh, than, than using the cleat bar even. It's just a, a wonderful technique, and this is a great way to do it from Don. We're going to set up six mating boxes, and what we're going to do is set these in there with a piece of drawed out comb that's got honey in it. That way we won't have to feed. We're going to put a ripe cell in there, and hopefully our queens will emerge tomorrow or the next day. Thanks for watching, Fat Bee Man, back here in the Bee Lab.